everyone. Good morning. Welcome to the junk. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning out there. Y'all, I got a newbie with me. What's up, y'all? So for those of you who are just tuning in and you're new on this morning, I am Sister Kenny. And I am Sister Jessica. And I am so excited to be here with you this Listen, morning. Listen, I am excited. It is another day that the Lord has made. Hey. I am grateful and I'm going to be glad in it. And you should be too. Yes, yes, So yes. make sure that you are tuned in on this morning for all things ramp y'all we're talking all things ramp everything that's going on in the house everything that's coming to go on in the house you don't want to miss it you guys you don't first off let's give a shout out to everybody that is joining the live right now good morning good morning good morning good morning good morning sister tammy i see you girl good morning good morning good morning morning. come on come on in the room you guys so we are doing all things new here at the ramp that's right Right. But That's before right. we get into that, uh-huh, uh-huh. there's something new that was brewing this week. Come on, new brewing this week. I, I, I feel I, I feel a, a matrimony in, in the house. Wait, but before we get into that talk, you guys, make sure that you like, make sure that you comment. Do this for me. Make sure that you tag five people, five people to come in the room to get the word on today, to stay tuned to the service on today. You don't want to miss praise and worship. You don't want to miss the announcements that's going to go forward. Make sure that you are plugged in. Tag five people. That's your mama, your daddy, your sister, your brother, your cousins, your aunties, your uncles, your friends, even your frenemies. You want to know why? Because there's room at the cross for everybody. There is so room So make sure for that you, you are plugged in. Okay? Tag five people. Do that for me. Real do quick. That do that you real quick. That. You can do that. Do that real quick. But how was your week, Sister Kenna? My week was great, you guys. I had an amazing week. It was weekend nonetheless, but I had an amazing week, y'all. The week was weekend. And I made it to the house of the Lord hey. on this morning. I give all glory and honor hey. to God. Hey! Hallelujah! We are excited that the week was weekend, but we made it here listen, to Sunday. Listen, listen. But let's go back. Let's go back. And let's, you know, give a quick... But very, very excited congratulations uh-huh. to our pastor and our woo, new woo, first lady woo, 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 woo. who got married on this past week. Congratulations, congratulations y'all. Congratulations. Congratulations. Best wishes to you guys. That's Pastor Risher and Lady Risher. You guys, we love you so much. Congratulations to you. And a special, special, special happy birthday to our executive pastor. Pastor Kasha. The one and only. The one and only. Pastor Kasha Hunt. Happy birthday to ya. What? Happy birthday to ya. Say what? Happy birthday. Y'all, they gonna put me on the praise team. Listen, they, they keep telling me no. But I know I got, listen, the you king gotta, loves to hear me sing. You gotta know. You gotta I know. Got, I gotta know. I, got, I don't know if I'm carrying it well, but I got one. Okay. But while you're carrying that note, mm-hmm. we need to talk about Wednesday night real quick. Let's talk about because it. Because you carried a word. Hey! hey. You Glory carried a word. God. On this past Wednesday at Refresh Bible Study, mm-hmm. Sister Kenny had the amazing, amazing word for us. Mm-hmm. But t- come on with the... Listen, y'all, you, I blush, I blush. <laughs> <laughs> y'all, truly, 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 it was an honor to stand and to bring forth the word. I'm always humbled. That's why I get nervous. But it was truly an honor to teach on uh, Wednesday for Refresh mm-hmm. Bible Study. Before I get into that, make sure you are plugged in even on Wednesday nights for Refresh Bible Study so that way you're always in the mix of what's going on. Pastor has been teaching on I Am a Church Member. Mm-hmm. And so I just picked up from what we've been talking about. Mm-hmm. And my the topic that I taught on was, do you know how to be a member? Mm. Being a member know, is knowing that your gift has room. You don't have to be like the next person. You can be yourself. God has made you unique. He has uh, created a special gift on the inside of you, and your gift is necessary and it has value. But the one thing that is not needed in the body of Christ is entitlement. Entitlement is something that can just, it, it, it can bring in a lot of uh, frustration and yeah. disruption. Yeah. And, you know, God has, he, he created us for unity. Yeah. And so in order for us to be united in his vision and what he created for his bridegroom is that uh, we be united and we be strong and they're strong in numbers and in the gifting. So that was Wednesday night, you guys. And if you want to keep hearing words like that, stay plugged in at the ramp 
every Wednesday that's at right. 7 p.m. for Refresh Bible that's Study. That's right. That's right. And make sure that you are following us on all of our platforms. That's Facebook. That's Instagram. And that's YouTube. Make sure on our YouTube page that you uh, that you have subscribed. Make sure that you're liking and that you're commenting and that you stay plugged in. You guys, on this morning, speaking of being in the house, on this Sunday morning, if you're not here yet, let me tell you this much. Hop in your car because you still got time to make it. Get on I-20 and come on in because in the house we have a giant from all the way from Greensboro. I'm trying to make sure I'm saying that right, North Carolina, because I'm from Appaloosa's, Louisiana, (laughs) baby. And I butcher everything. Okay, I know how to speak well. But but we got you. We got you. But we have, nonetheless, we have a giant in the house. Bishop Freddie Marshall is here to bring forth the word. You don't want to miss it. So make sure that you stay plugged in. Stay Invite people to come in. in. That's, listen, this word is for everybody. We about to get some fresh manna in the house, y'all. I, I'm so excited. I'm I am so, so excited. excited. I hear the rumbling going on in the sanctuary. Listen. I hear the spirit is about to drop in listen. and take over. I am super excited about what's going on this Sunday. Listen, and not only that, Redeemed is going to be ministering and dance on this morning. So you guys don't want to miss that. Y'all, I'm in my gear. We're getting ready to go forward with that. They are praying in the sanctuary. You don't want to miss praise and worship. You don't. I saw a sneak peek of what Redeem was doing. Uh-huh. You do not want to miss this. I'm, I promise you, you do not want to miss this. Listen. It's so excited. It's going to really, really, really reach your spirit. Listen. I'm super excited. But while we are here, let's make sure that you still like, comment, and share this live. That's right. With five, five. You, you, your mama, and your cousin, too. And your, your mama and your cousins, too. And make sure when you're in the building that you you pass by Shop 5430, pick up your ramp uh, merch, that shirts. Y'all, we have family and friends day that's getting ready to come Ooh, up. I'm you excited. don't want to miss that. So excited. Stay plugged in. Get all your merch. Get what you need. Even the book that we've been discussing in Bible study, you guys, it's I all in Shop 5430. Member. So we're getting ready to head into the sanctuary. Prayer is going forth. I feel it. I feel Yo, the rumbling. I felt it before I even came. Came I, in. I was already rumbling. stirred. You guys don't want to miss it. Don't go anywhere. Do get your coffee, not. get your water, get your soda. Get you a physical paper bag Bible. With a yellow okay? highlighter. Listen. Because there's an anointing in the yellow There's an highlighter. anointing in the yellow, okay? Make sure that you don't go anywhere. You ain't got no reason to exit off, okay? You don't. But Stay if you have time in. to get here, you got you got about two good minutes to walk through the doors. So let's l- l- let me see you walk in the room. I want to see it, okay? So we're going to give a quick shout out to Sister Giselle Burnett, who says she is new here. Welcome, girl. Good morning. We see Brother Josh. Hey, Josh. Hey, Hey, Courtney. Hey, Hey, CJ. Hey, baby CJ. Good morning. So we're excited. Please stay tuned. Keep it locked right here on Ramp, and we will see you in the sanctuary. I'm super excited for today. Me too. Let's get it, you guys. Don't go anywhere. Let's go. We will. Come on, woo, 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 woo. We want to see you in the place, y'all. All right, we'll see you next. this morning give them your worship this morning give them your worship this morning come on give them your worship come on you that's at home watching online start hitting that like button come on give them your worship what a mighty God what a mighty God what a holy God what a faithful God Woo! Here's our worship, Jesus. Here's our worship. Woo! Yes, Lord. Here's our worship. Oh, yes. Y'all ready to worship?
worship the Lord this morning? Hallelujah. Let's go. Hey. Give me a little bit more of the track. Hey. Hey. Y'all can clap real soft right here. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. this hey and I don't sing like this nobody listening but you yes Lord and I don't dance like this nobody watching but you oh, and I don't worship with my last breath give my all till there's nothing left my full you, Jesus, you are my center, my hope, my treasures I found in you. I'll sing your praises forever, my life, my love, I give to you. Let's raise it up. Hey, say it out. Raise it to the Father. Hey, hey. Say it out, dance. I don't dance like this. Nobody watching but you. We've came to worship. Hey, say it out, worship. I don't worship with my last breath. Come to give my all. Give my all to this nothing. Say my focus. Sing it out. You, you Jesus, Jesus, you are, you are my sin. Home on my word. And I'll stay. I'll stay. 
Somebody, welcome to the rip, 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 rip. Let's go, let's go.
One more time, say, said I'll be. What a mighty God we serve, I'll be. And I give you my heart, give you my life, belong to you, belong to you, say. Give you my heart, yeah. give you my life, belong to you, belong to hey. you. And I give you my heart, give you my, give you my life, belong to you, Praise it up. belong to you. I give you my, give you my heart, give you my Let's go. Let's wait. I belong. I belong to you. Y'all oh have it ramp towards Texas. Hey, said I belong. I belong to you. Oh what a mighty God we serve. I belong. I belong to you. Oh Come on, let's raise it to the Father. Said I belong. I belong to you, oh God. Yes, Lord. And I give you my heart, said I give you my heart, give you my life. Belong to you, belong on, to you. Up. Give you my heart, give you my life. Belong to you, raise it up, church. Belong and to I you.
App at Ramp Church TX, or you can text to give at 84321, any amount, 10,000 if you got it, if you want to sow it on today, amen. This is good ground, amen. You can give online at rampchurchtx.org slash give, and then you can give in person at our giving stations located in the back, amen. We give you glory on today, God. How many of you remember the pledge that our pastor has committed us to with the $30? How many of you are pledging that? Amen. If you're pledging that on this morning, stand with me. 
Amen. And we thank you for your $30 seed on this morning. Amen. Again, this is good ground. I want to acknowledge our first-time visitors. If you're visiting with us for the first time, either online or here in the sanctuary, welcome to Ramp Church, Texas, a place where perfect people are not allowed, and praise is always in order. Amen. We're standing all over this place as we read our declaration. Come on, let's read this declaration together. And it says, according to the word of God, I declare that financial increase come into the body of Christ and my house for the sake of the gospel. I call my church and myself to be totally debt free. I proclaim that I have the necessary finances to do everything that God has called me to do. Father, I honor you by putting you first in my finances, giving my best in tithes and offering. You are bringing me into my wealthy place. I call my house and all my property to be? Amen. Amen. We bless the Lord. We want to give a congratulations to our senior leader and first lady. Amen. Can we stand to our feet and congratulate them? Amen. Pastor, we love you. First lady, we love you. We're going up. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless you, God. Please stay tuned for these video announcements followed by our redeemed dance ministry. Amen. Come on, let's clap our hands. Amen. What's up, Ramp? It's your girl, Sister Jessica. Was not praise and worship on fire today? Look, let's get into these announcements for today. For those of you new to Ramp or need a brush up on your foundation, our discipleship class, Save Now What, is this week. It'll be on Wednesday at 7 p.m. Contact Brother Ellsworth if you're interested in signing up. Also, if you've been dating us for a while and you're ready to put a ring on it, our next step for orientation is next Sunday at 9 a.m. This will be your opportunity to learn what RCT is all about and how you can get involved. If you haven't already, make sure you get with Sister Q or another member of the Next Steps team to make sure you've got the details. May is almost over. Yes for teachers. And we're going to end on a high note. Next Sunday is Pentecost Sunday. So make sure you're in your all white. We'll also be celebrating the elevation of several of our own members and a few will be given their initial sermon. So be here before 10 so you do not miss one second of the service. Get ready y'all. Family and Friends Day is just two weeks away. Sunday, June 4th, we want you to bring everybody you know to service that day. We have an amazing day planned for you. The Sean Wright will be our musical guest and then you know how family do it. We'll have a cookout afterwards at River Legacy Parks in Arlington. We invite you to bring something for the fam. See myself or Sister Diamond after service to sign up. Also, don't forget to go to Shop 5430 to get your family and friends t-shirt. Wednesday is the last day to order. The countdown is on to Holy Convocation 2023. July 26th through the 29th, we want as many RCT members possible to represent in Lynchburg, Virginia. If you haven't booked a flight yet, you can still see Dickens Brittany to get on the charter bus. To our first time visitors, thank you for worshiping with us today. Let us know you were here by scanning this QR code and fill out the short form. We'd love to connect with you and invite you back. If you don't catch it, you'll also find it on the screen in the Welcome Center in the foyer. That's all for this week. Now you're in for a treat as Redeemed Dance Ministry takes the stage. I'm going up in here. Watch me get with Sister Kenny and find out what's going on with D. D, 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 D. Okay, for real. You know that new dance? Right. That new thing? Yeah. That the ramp doing? Yeah. We doing it too. And that joke is the bomb. That thing hot, girl. That thing hot like fire. But we've been missing somebody. Who? And that daggone Delisha. She ain't been to practice in three weeks. No, she told me she was going to rehearsal. Man, that girl ain't been in no practice. That girl ain't been in no practice. I mean, she ain't been in no practice. Okay, okay, look, You look. know what she be doing. You know what she be doing. They told look, me you got as, all the tea, girl. As much as I got the tea, yeah. what she needs what you, mm, is something new. We praying? She needs a new thing. A new thing? Let's give her a new thing. But I'm going to call somebody else at the ramp because they, they, they nosy. They got her business.
doesn't matter if they're talking about you you've been made new all things are passed away you are new receive your new 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 receive your new 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 embrace your new 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 embrace your new 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 now open up your mouth and give him glory for your new things Woo! come on come on come on come on open up your mouth and give him glory for the new things for the things you haven't seen yet for the things that no one has put their mouth on for the things that no one has put their hands on open up your mind and thank you for the new things they belong to you yeah. belong to you come on ram church texas if you believe God is doing a new thing, I need to hear you open up your mouth. Come on, I need you to thank God for the new thing. Come on, I need you to thank God for the new thing. He will do what eyes have not seen. He will do what ears have not heard. I dare you to lift up those hands all over this place and receive the fresh outpouring of the new thing. We receive the new thing. We open up for the new thing. We make room for the new thing. I'm doing a new thing. We receive the new thing. Do me a favor. Let's stand up all over this place as we get ready for the word. I believe we are in for a prophetic word that is going to set us on course for what God is getting ready to do next. How many of you believe that? No, I said, how many of you really believe that? I don't know about you, but I quit coming to church for form and formality, but I come because I need a word from the Lord. I refuse to take next steps without his direction. Is that anybody else in this room this morning? Real quick, while, oh, while, as we get ready for the word, I just need you to lift up those hands and posture your hearts. And my prayer this morning is that we will make room for the new thing. God, I'm asking this morning that our heart, that you won't be in competition for our hearts, for what it is you want to release over these, your people. We make room for you this morning. Father, I'm praying this morning that as the words go forth, that Father, you would make us empty vessels ready to receive what it is that you are wanting to outpour this morning. Father, I'm asking this morning that our own opinions and ideologies do not hinder the new thing that you want to release to these, your people. And so, Father, we say this morning, our hearts are ready. Our minds are ready. And this morning, as a collective body of believers, we say, Lord, we're available. Lord, we are available. Lord, we are available. Our storage is empty. And we are available to you in Jesus name again we honor the Lord for our senior leader who is enjoying hallelujah his new matrimony his new bride we thank God for them in their absence let's celebrate God for overseer Evan D. Risher and first lady Shayla Risher we love you and we thank God this is the Lord's doing this is the Lord's doing, and it is indeed marvelous in our, look what the Lord has done. Look what the Lord has done. Look what the Lord has done. And we honor him for it. Listen, you guys, we are in for a spectacular treat this morning. And although our leader is not here, we are not left without a word. But we are getting ready to be blessed by none other than Bishop John Marshall all the way. I'm sorry, Freddie Marshall. Look, where I get John from? Bishop Freddie Marshall. He is a ramp regular. I'm so sorry, y'all. Who I got John Marshall from? Y'all pray for me. 
Bishop Freddie Marshall heals all the way from North Carolina. He is a ramp regular and a ramp favorite. So I want you to open up your hearts, open up your mind and your ears for what God is getting ready to do. Receive Bishop Freddie Marshall. Come on, keep clapping for Jesus. Come on, keep clapping for him. I need you to clap real loud for him. All day long I've been with Jesus and what a glorious day it has been. I believe that we have stepped into a prophetic moment. I want to honor Jesus who is the head of the church. It is in him we live, move, and have our being. Come on, you can clap for him. Absolutely. And I am convinced we, stood not, we should not start to move except we move in him. What a glorious Sunday it is to be a part of the worship experience here at the Ramp Church, Texas. And what a moment we are in. I have been blessed by everything that we have experienced this morning. The dancers, let's celebrate them. Our worship team, let's celebrate them. Just amazing, amazing. Those who have met us, fed us, took care of us, embraced us. I came this morning with great expectation. And I also came understanding that this is a great house. And because of the greatness of this house, we have an opportunity to lock in to what the Lord is saying in this hour. Will you help me to celebrate your founding pastor, the senior leader of this church, overseer Evan D. Risher? Come on. Let's thank God for the man of God. And to the first lady who is with him this morning. Doesn't that sound good? We thank God for our first lady. Let's celebrate. Let's celebrate. Hallelujah. To the first family, we honor God for them. You know, when a man finds a wife, he finds a good thing, and he obtaineth favor. Now, a new level of favor has dropped on pastor's life. And because of that, let me see if I've got about... 200 prophetic people in the room a new level of favor has dropped on yours hallelujah somebody tell a neighbor I'm under a new level of favor hallelujah listen that new level of favor that new level of favor has caused our lives to collide where the former and the latter shall literally meet up and kiss like long lost lovers. You're gonna get the latter rain and the former rain all in the same season. And it's about to happen in a marvelous way. To the leadership of this church, we honor all of you and let's celebrate all of our pastors and leaders. I love you all. We celebrate all of you. I'm so glad to be traveling with my wife today who has blessed my life in so many ways and to have her with me this morning is also a tremendous blessing. I want to go to the word of the Lord. I want to go to the word of the Lord. There is a word, and I want us to be able to go there. Glory to God. Because I know that God is speaking. To see so many young people dancing, just, I mean, that just blessed me. It's a healthy house. The book of Proverbs, the book of Proverbs, chapter 11. I'm not going to teach long this morning. 
but I want to be obedient to the Spirit and say what thus saith the Lord and release what the Lord is saying in this hour. I come today to let you know that it is all about to change and it's changing for your good. And I don't know about you, but my prayer lately has been not, Lord, do it again, but, Lord, do a new thing. Let's see if anybody else can grab that. Lord, do a new thing. You know, I grew up and we would sing, Lord, do it, do it for me, do it again, do it like you've done before. And I get all of that. I appreciate all of that. But I read in this word where he said, behold, I will do a new thing. And I don't know about you, but I've got, I've, got, I've got life ADHD. I mean, that's just real. It's real for me. And I can get bored very easily. I can become easily distracted. And so I've got, I've got an agreement with God that every morning, not only will I get new mercies, but I'll get new experiences. I wish somebody would tap a neighbor and tell them, that's the life I'm after. I don't want to be able to predict my tomorrow. I don't want to be able to predict my tomorrow. I want God to be able to do something ain't never happened in my life. Anybody else looking for that? Oh! So I put that declaration in the atmosphere. Lord, do something new for me, something different. Somebody holler, something fresh. I want, I want God to move in my life in such a way that when I go to testify about it, none of my friends can interrupt me and say, oh yeah, that happened for me too. No, boo, I'm talking about something ain't happened for nobody we know. Y'all ain't talking. I'm talking about something that none of our relatives have ever... Anybody gonna be the first one in your family to break the barrier? Come on. Somebody tell a neighbor, I'm going to be the first one. I am the host of my heart. Nobody in my bloodline is going to have the experience that God's about to give me. And it's all for his glory. Woo! Let me see. I'm gonna get to this, but let me grab this and see if I got the right word in the right house. Just get one person by the hand, one person, get them by the hand and say, neighbor, all that's gonna happen for me. And because you're near me, guess what's gonna happen? Grab them and pull them and say, I'm bringing you with me. I am, I'm carrying you with me. Well, Wherever I go, I'm carrying you with You gotta be willing to go. And I found out if you can stand the pull, God will pull you through it. If you can stand the pull, God will pull you through it. Somebody say, neighbor, you gotta be able to put up with the pull. He'll pull you through it. He'll pull you through it. He pulled me through depression. He pulled me through frustration. He pulled me out of anger. Somebody say he will pull you through. Hey, Shanda Bahosa, Amandiosi. Yeah, I feel him pulling on me right now. Uh, uh, uh. Y'all can't let him dance by himself. I feel the pull. Come on and clap those hands. Hey! Woo! Somebody 
say that too many more times, maybe nine or ten, but look at a neighbor and say, hey neighbor, hey friend, this has been a season of great transition. Look at me now and say, neighbor, I had to find out some things about some people I didn't really want to know. God gave me some information and revelation. Because I thought some folk were happy for me. Only to discover they liked the last version of me. But didn't know how to embrace the new version. But today I declare I'm over it. If you didn't like me then, I'm about to get on your nerves. Because oh! I'm about to become the better version of me. Hallelujah! Yes, Lord! Uh, we got about 30 folk dancing in the back. I'm trying to move on. But I didn't know what it took for them to get here, so I'm gonna let them praise it. Ah! Shout unto God with a voice of triumph. Come on, let's shout unto him. The next level, the next level always comes with revelation that sometimes the people you thought really wanted to see you become better did not really want things to happen for you. And after you cry about it, and I tell folk, you don't have but about two and a half days because on the third day, everything got to get up. Yep, somebody say everything got to get up. I'm, I'm not going to be upset about nothing no more than two and a half days. Take that other half a day to get myself together. The Bible says when David and Bathsheba's son that they had out of wedlock was sick, that he prayed, he fasted. But as soon as they told him that the child was dead, the Bible says that he got up and washed his face. 
And I'm telling some of you, that's the season you're in right now. You need to get up and wash your face and get over it. So what? You put some time in with people who wasn't worth it. We've all done it. So what? You thought some folk loved you and they were only using you. We've all been there. But tell somebody, I'm getting over it right now. I'm on my way. I'm on my way to the better version of myself. And I hear this prophetically. For many of you in this sanctuary, for many of you who are worshiping online, that as God has pushed the pastor and the first lady into this new season, every one of you go with them. Y'all, everything happening for them is trickling down for, oh my God. The, air, the, the, the oil runs from the to the beard, to the skirt. So it's got to start at the head. I want to look at something. I promise you, I recognize we have praised in my time, but that's fine because I don't, I, don't, I don't need long today. If this is the right word, y'all going to grab it and we're going to dance again. I hear the Woo! Oh, yeah, this is a good Sunday to be in church. Proverbs chapter number 11, I want to read verse 23 in the King James Version. And then I want to grab hold of the Message Bible Version. Would that be okay? And read it there. Proverbs 11 and 23 in the King James Version reads, The desire of the righteous is only good, but the expectation of the wicked is wrath. Let me read further. There is that scattereth and yet increaseth, and there is that withholdeth more than is meat, but it tendeth to poverty. The liberal soul shall be made fat, and he that watereth shall be watered also himself. Those same three verses, Proverbs 11, 23, 24, 25 in the Message Bible. I want you to hear how it reads. The desires of good people lead straight to the best. But wicked ambition ends in angry frustration. The world of the generous gets larger and larger. The world of the stingy gets smaller and smaller. The one who blesses others is abundantly blessed. Those who help others are helped. I want to pull our subject out of the Message Bible translation from the words found in verse number 23. The desires of good people lead straight to the best. And for a few moments, I want to teach from this subject straight to the best. Look at somebody on your way down to your seat and tell them, neighbor, if anybody asks you where I'm going, tell them I'm headed straight to the best. You can be seated. <laughs> Woo! Somebody holler again, straight to the best. Straight to the best. Why he acting like that? Because I'm going straight to the best. Why he don't hang out with us no more? I'm headed straight to the best. Why he acting new? I am. I'm going straight to the best. Straight to the best the best. Can I tell you, I was in the, I was in the hotel last night. I know. I'm going to try not to dance too early. I got to get this. Woo. Oh, come on. Yeah. I said straight to the best. I was in the hotel last night and my wife was at the desk on the laptop. I was sitting on the bed at my, at my laptop and my iPad. And I know she thought something was wrong with me because I quickened and hollered. And she gave me that look like, here we go. But I heard God say, tell the Ramp Church, Texas, 
that from this day forward, there will be no more detours. He said, tell them they're going straight. Oh! Straight to the best. I'm on the whole shop I wouldn't let them run by the sun. Straight. Straight to the best. going straight there. Anybody grow up in the kind of household when, when you were being rebuked or chastised by your parents, they would say, go straight to your room. Or if you miss curfew, your mom or your dad would say, you better come straight home. That meant make no more stops. That meant your only goal is to get to where I told you to go. I dare you to look at somebody and tell them no more stops. I'm headed straight there. I'm headed straight there. Woo! Y'all will give me just about 20 minutes. Don't need much. Grab your Bible. I want to show you something straight there. Somebody holler it real loud, straight there. Straight there. How you gonna get there? Straight there. How you gonna get the promotion? Straight there. How you gonna get the new house? Straight there. When you gonna get married? Straight there. Oh! How you gonna start the business? Straight there. Straight there. Straight there. How you gonna get over it? Straight there. How you gonna let it go? Straight there. I don't know who this is for, but I want to release it. This word means that the season of distractions are over in your life. The stuff that used to be able to pull you away from purpose and to pull you out of focus. I want you to tell somebody I'm no longer easily distracted. I got a one track mind. Let me see if I got the right people. I said I got a one track mind. What track am I on? Straight there.
Solomon's wisdom introduces us to a principle that a lot of folk live good without, but they don't live well. And God, because of what has happened in the life of your leader, he's changing now the trajectory of everything that's about to happen for you. That's why in this season, we don't have time to entertain people who act like they got questions. When we get up under a flow that says we're going straight there, we don't have time for discussion. We just need people to get on the train and ride. Somebody said to me the other day, a few weeks ago now, they said to me, were you aware that so-and-so did not care very much for you? I said, not only was I not aware of it, but I do not care. And they looked at me and said, why not, Bishop? You should care. I said, well, how long is it that you know they felt this way? From what I'm told, they felt this way for a long time. I said, and for a long time, I've been doing all right. So them liking me or not liking me has not added one step. I didn't miss one meal. I didn't miss one vacation. I had good fun every time I turned around. When you're on your way straight there, you don't have time for a lot of subsidiary opinions. I wish somebody would grab that. You don't have time for subsidiary opinions. Those are the opinions that are off the track from where you're straight to. Solomon gives us this and he says something that I believe a lot of believers, if we're not careful, will miss. Because he begins to talk to us about the desires of good people. I want you to write this down if you're taking good notes. I don't care how spiritual I am. I don't ever want to lose being a good person. Y'all, I know some anointed folk with no personality. I know some gifted people who are not genuinely good people. And the reason I believe that Solomon gives this to us is because there are blessings that come as a result of our spiritual status. But then there are blessings that come as a result of the intentions of our heart. Write this down. This next season, God's going to bless real sporadically and erratically good-hearted people. I felt that. Which means this thing is going to happen for those of us who don't mind seeing other people blessed. Y'all. Lord, deliver me from people who feel like it's always got to be them. I'm telling you my testimony and you can't even let me get mine out because you got to tell me what happened for you. If you're my friend, hold your good news until we celebrate mine. I ain't got no witness here. Y'all, a lot of folk want to intervene in the moment and interrupt your testimony and interfere with the glory of it. But in this season, God's going to put around us people who, even if we both get a new car on the same day, if you start talking about yours, I'll hold mine the next week. Because a real friend doesn't mind celebrating what God's doing in your life. It's all right. I'm going to still have my car next week. We'll celebrate mine next week. We're going to celebrate yours. Solomon says the desires, that's an S, of good people lead straight to the best. Write this down. The Lord gave it to me in the hotel room. He said, tell my people that I am about to bless them according to their hearts concerning those around them. That if you really love people, 
then you fit this. A brother is made for adversity. And a friend loveth at all times. I am free right now in my life from people who had the ability to change up on me. I went through many seasons where I was dealing with folk. I was fooling with folk who changed up. And I didn't even know sometimes it changed up. But I have thinned out my circle. And now I only have in my circle people who are tried and true. Some of y'all are trying to be around too many people. And the larger your circle, the more room you make for jealousy. If you don't have but one good friend, you ought to thank God for one. I know I'm teaching. Uh, Y'all, this thing called social media has messed us up because now everybody our friend. People stop me in the mall. People stop me in airports. People talk to me all the time. I was, I was passing a person, passing through the airport the other week, and my phone went off. My phone went off. It was a messenger. And I'm walking and looking, and somebody said, hey, you're my friend. You just walked by me. And I thought, this is dangerous. Because everybody's not our friend. And when you are on your way straight to the best, you recognize you got to thin out your circle. Can't take everybody with you. I told you a few minutes ago to pull your neighbor. I hope that was somebody you really wanted to pull out. Because there are some people I really need to leave in. I'm making the declaration some folk are not going with me to my next level. And that thing is intentional. Like, no, I'm not calling them. No, they're not going to know I moved. No, they're going to come to work and find out I don't work there no more. Because some people have been sent as spies to pre-announce your every movement. Solomon says the desires of good people lead straight to the best. But look at what he says. But wicked ambition ends in angry frustration. Pastor, the Lord started speaking to me and he said, there are some people whose whole demeanor has changed. And we're standing around trying to figure out why. Because ain't nobody done nothing to them. And he told me to announce their demeanor change because they had wicked ambitions. Yo, when you have wicked ambitions, when what you wanted don't happen, you don't know how to celebrate what God's doing. I think I'm prophesying right now. We got to be careful to not babysit people with all these attitudes. Because we didn't cause them. They have an attitude because they had a desire that was not God's will. Somebody look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, you need to be honest about why you are there. Don't be hanging around somebody talking about y'all friends when you secretly have a crush on them. That's an unhealthy friendship. Because you have, uh, uh oh, you have an intention that's evil. If you like them, just say, I like you. Don't hang around and let me put you in the friend zone. And then all of, a, all of a sudden, one day, you start acting like we done broke up. When I didn't even know we were together. Y'all ain't talking. <laughs> I feel like teaching, right? I got, I got 15 minutes. Let me be quiet. Anybody ever been there? If you've been there, wave your right hand and say, been there. I thought we were besties. Now it makes me doubt all of the advice you ever gave me. Because I asked you about so-and-so and what you thought about them, and you told me no. 
Now make me wonder, did you say no because they were no good? Or did you say no because you thought you were the one? When you have wicked intentions, am I in the word? When you have wicked ambition, it leads to frustration. And on the job, there you are, on the job, befriending people, not because you want mentors, but because you want to re replace them. We've got to watch the intentions and the ambitions of our heart. Because you can be anointed and evil at the same time if you don't keep your ambition in check. Uh-oh. Look at what he says. You've got to watch the wicked because their ambition will lead to angry frustration. I have done things for people and it, it seemed like it was never enough. And the Lord said, stop. First of all, this is how God speaks to me. Stop putting pearls around swine. That, Y'all, that's the scripture. Stop trying to dress up people who have no appreciation or value for what it is you're giving them. Because you can put a black suit on a penguin and call it a tuxedo. But if they got a duck mentality, they're going to still do duck-like things. You've got to be careful that in this season, while you're on your way straight to the best, you don't grab along with you people whose ambition is evil. Because what you will do is bring into your critical moments spirits you cannot trust. Here I am praying about my next move in my career. And you sitting up trying to benefit from my movement. Watch people who live vicariously through you. Who don't have their own life. I'm prophesying right now that some of you need to find some friends more successful than you. Uh-oh. And stop being the smartest one at every table. That means you have brought yourself to a place where you're only surrounded by people who can celebrate what's happening, but they cannot participate in your processes. The Lord gave me three points for this one text. And I'm going to give them to you and then we're going to dance our way on out of here. The Lord said to me, this house is straight on its way straight to the best. I tell you, I quickened, I rejoiced because I needed God to give me a fresh word. Straight to the best. And he said to me, tell them there will be no more detours because from this day forward, all their processes will be proximate. I want you to write that down. All their processes will be proximate. When I heard that, I had to go look up the word proximate. Because I know what approximately means. But I hadn't heard proximate. And the Holy Ghost drove me to the dictionary. The word proximate, by definition, means nearly accurate. Y'all ain't talking. It means the cause of something closest in relationship to immediate as you can get. So he said to me, tell them every process is proximate. Which means everything from this day forward is going to be about near perfect. I ain't got no witness in here. Nudge somebody and say, that's what I need right now. Y'all, I don't have time for many more do-overs. 
Not only do I not have the time, I don't even have the energy. I don't, I don't have the energy to be fooling around with people and it's going to take me a year to figure out if they are real. I need to get a, a clear discernment of everybody in my space from that moment. And if you can't tell me what you want and you can't tell me why you're here, I'm going to love you from across the room. Because in this season, my processes are proximate. Write this down if you're taking good notes. I'm not practicing on nobody else. Nope. I only want the right people with the right intentions. Woo! We pulled up at the church this morning. And, and when Elder JJ pulled the car into the parking lot, I began to literally sense in my spirit, this ain't enough room and it ain't been enough room for a long time. I ain't got no witness here. I'm gonna say it again. This ain't enough room. And it ain't been enough room for a long time. Which means we gotta go looking for what's next. Give somebody a high five and tell them that's this house. But that's your house too. Stop living in restricted spaces. Stop putting up with stuff that's smaller than you. Stop it! I'm just gonna stay here cause it's comfortable. God don't want you to be comfortable. He wants you to be spectacular. Somebody look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, I'll walk by faith, not by comfort. No, it's proximate. store a long time ago. I don't know if you remember this. We were in the pet store. I think we were looking for a cage for spa. And the people were talking over there where the snakes were. And you know how I am. I want to see the snakes but I really don't want to see the snakes. Like I'm nosy enough I want to see them. But I don't really want to look at them. And while I was over there by them, the man said this snake has to get out of this particular encasement because it won't grow any larger than its surrounding. I'm walking by, but I got a revelation. Y'all trying to wait to grow to get to the new place. When I'm telling you, God says no. Go to the new place and grow into it. Who am I talking to? I got eight minutes. Somebody tell your neighbor, I got to get more room. The Bible says my gift will make room for me. My gift is limited if I don't have enough room. I can't operate at my full potential if I don't have enough space. Somebody holler, my process is, a pro is proximate. Look at the next point. The Lord said to me, I feel glory. Woo! Just nudge somebody with your elbow and say, proximate. I don't know who this is for. The Lord said it's for about 32 of you who will grab it. That means go home and pack a box. You can get the new house. Go home and pack a box. I don't have a realtor, it don't matter, pack a box. I ain't found my new place, it don't matter, pack a box. I don't know if I'm gonna get approved, it don't matter, pack a box. Somebody holler, pack a box. Some of you are working jobs that you know you've outgrown. I'm not telling you to go to work tomorrow and quit. The devil is a lie. 
Do not come back in here Sunday and tell your pastor, I said, go quit. That is not what I'm about to say. But what I am saying is go to work tomorrow and pack a box. Put it under your desk. So as soon as the door opens, all you got to do is get your stuff. I'm out of here, chief. Somebody holler, pack a box. I don't, I don't know what y'all gonna do, but I heard the Lord say this is too small and it's been too small for a long time. So somebody might need to go somewhere and pack a box. Every time we kind of walk by, every time we rode by, every time we walk by the convention center downtown, I kept thinking that would be a nice place for the ramp church. Y'all act like God can only do it in Houston and can't do it in Fort Worth. We're bigger than a building. We are a city set on a hill that cannot be. The second point the Lord gave me. I need y'all to write this down because my time is up. Oh my God. The clock gone. The clock. Do I need to sit down? Okay. Because I want to be in order. Number two. He said, tell them all things are working together for their good. He said, please make sure you let them know all things means everything. I, I, I think y'all missed that. All things mean nothing going on in me or with me or around me is going to do anything but work for me. Which, which means which me? Everybody who needs you ought to touch the box. final point he said to me tell them y'all uh, 
Come here, man of God. I know you're taking pictures, but I don't want them to think I'm making this up. Y'all started singing up, up. We're going up. And I thought I was about to lose it. Because my third point, can you read that? What does it say? Straight to the top. Somebody holler straight to the top. Wait a minute. Help me. You see, straight to the top. Y'all, this is what God said. And when you get this, I want you to lose your mind in this next phrase. He says, all you need to get to the top is what he's about to provide for you. You ready? Announce what it is. Time and opportunities. Time and opportunities. But if it's yours, just grab it. Tell the devil to shut up. You have not run out of time. You have not run out of time. The window is not closed. And I got opportunities. Nothing is greater than a man or a woman with opportunity. Opportunities. Say, I don't have to settle. Y'all didn't hear that. It says, I get to make decisions. The Lord is speaking this, that instead of applying, now you will have choices. She's been tore up the whole last 20 minutes. Y'all about to have opportunities. Choices. Say choices. I'm ending there. My time is up. I want you to look at somebody and make sure you find the right somebody. Look them in the eye and say, neighbor, straight to the best. No more detours. No more distractions straight to the best. Will you do this for me because I can't get to everybody. Look them in the eye and tell them and please don't forget this. Please remember this. And always say this. I deserve it. I may not have earned it but I deserve it.
your right hand and point it in a direction. I don't know which direction to tell you because I don't know where pastor and the first lady are. So everybody just point in every direction. We're going to cover them. Some matter decree. Our leaders are headed straight for the best. Anything they think, God's going to perform it. Uh oh, wait a minute. Say this as a matter of fact. They can't think too loud. Because I'll pick up their thoughts. And I'll become the answer before they even ask the question. Y'all, ramp, I feel this. Pastor's going to stand up and say, we need this. And I'm going to ask a hundred people to do this. And somebody going to be able to stand up and say, Pastor, find something for the 99 other folk to do. I got that. Y'all, God's about to prosper your life. This new level of favor. God's about to prosper your life. So that you will be the answer. I'm going to do this as I'm led. I want you to grab your wallet, grab your purse, grab your phone. I'm going to move out of the way. And those who normally would do the altar call and all of that. But I want to be led of the spirit in this moment. Y'all don't mind if I let the Lord lead me. It's imperative. Don't stop. No, go back where we were. Yeah. Because that, that's victory. Y'all, this is the victory band. I don't know what y'all call it. That's the victory band. That's the victory band back there. Because every chord has pushed us to another place. I want you to lift your wallet, lift your purse, lift your checkbook, lift your device, however you do business. And, and my wife and anybody else who knows my ministry will tell you I do this everywhere as I am led because it is imperative. You are headed straight to the best. Our tithe is an act of obedience. Somebody say, when I tithe, that's not a sacrifice. That's my obedience. It's my sowing. It's my offerings and my seed where the sacrifice begins. Everybody lift it real high. If you can stand, stand with it, lift it. Because I'm ready for my money to go up, up, up. I'm getting ready to live so that folk are going to call me and ask me to please cash or deposit the checks that they have written me. Because I'm not going to need them. I'm going to start hiding money from myself. And be ready to give away old clothes and realize, wait a minute, it's $1,000 in that coat pocket. Let me make sure I get that envelope out of there. God's about to do it. And it's called a new thing. Where your prayer is no longer going to be God bless me with the house. But your prayer now is going to be Lord bless me so that I can bless others. I want at least half of my rental properties to be for people who wouldn't be able to normally live in that kind of neighborhood. But because I believe you. And because you bless me, I'm going to cut my rate of return so I can make room for them. My children's children are not going to have to ask about scholarships. My grandchildren will never have to fill out a FAFSA. Because they're going to know, Poppy already got my college money. And I'm not just talking about room, board, books, and classes. I'm talking about where they get a, a monthly stipend. 
And if you do it in four years, I'll give you a bonus. Because no more detours. Some of you in this room are looking to start fresh. Y'all, I don't know if you all understand it. I've said it, but I got to reiterate it. That new level of favor that hit pastor's life has hit this entire church. And from the moment they said I do on Thursday, something clicked and released in your life. And you won't have to wait like you've been waiting. God's going to perform it. Somebody say quick, fast, and in a hurry. I heard this as I was ministering. The Lord said to challenge in this house today, 50 people in this house to stand with me. Only 49 because I'm one unless we're going to go over to sow a $121 seed into the anointing of this moment. This is what I heard the Lord say. Boxes, as soon as you pack them, he'll move them. As soon as you pack them, he'll move them. I want those 50 people to walk forward to this altar. It should come from every direction. You're one of the 50. Some of you are saying, I didn't come prepared to give that. That's fine. That's how you know it's a sacrifice. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want you to believe God. That's it. They're still coming. Glory to God. Coming out of the balcony. Coming from the sides. We believe God. Some of you high school students. You got more money now than you had. And you feel the pull. You need to sow it. Glory to God. College students. You need to sow it. Somebody literally don't know where that next breakthrough is going to come from I can tell you this it's going to come out of the seed by faith move in this direction they're still coming glory to God glory to God Whew. March and April seem like it was so just push through. So much so until sometimes y'all look and thought, what's going on? I don't know nothing about you other than what the Spirit is saying. The Lord told me to tell you by the time June hits, by the, by the time June hits, something gonna happen supernatural. Y'all know them? Y'all want to see them bless? Look at them and say, we need to see y'all bless. I'm assuming that's your wife. Who leg you been rubbing on the last 30 minutes? She's sitting there pregnant, I mean. You had to have something to do with that. The same is about to happen for you all. The water is good. Somebody say the water is good. There will be no miscarriages. No steel births. The water in this house is good. Everybody else. I want you to get the very best seed that you have. If that's $100, if that's $40, whatever it is, push to this altar. Everybody that's sowing, push, push, push. Don't wait till you get the cash out. Push. Because we're all sowing today. That's it.
touch my hand. I decree release that God would so honor your heart. Because I was teaching today and the Lord had me talking to good people. And he told me to tell you he's about to bless you according to your heart. I don't care how much you've been misunderstood. I don't care how many times people have misappropriated you. He picked you out today to remind you that he loves you and that he's about to bless you. God's drying up tears at this altar. I dare y'all to point this way and say, God, do it, do it, do it. see it happen. I don't care who thinks they know. God told me to tell you he's about to pull you to the top. Time and opportunity. Time and opportunity. Woo! Time and opportunity. Towel or a handkerchief. You got an extra towel or a handkerchief? No, I need this one. There we go. That's for y'all. The spirit of prosperity is a spirit. Long before you have it, you must walk in it. The spirit of prosperity is over you all. But God's about to take y'all's life to another level. And I don't, I don't get into this thing about who next. Because we all next for something. But I'm telling you that y'all are going to be next. I don't know what next look like. I don't even know. I need to send this with y'all. And I need for you to know that before the summer is over, this is what the scripture says, by the time the sun be hot, we shall have help. By the time the sun be hot, we shall have help. I'm gonna throw it, you catch it, y'all dance. Oh! Everybody! my hand with that seat the 121 and whatever else you so and it is so release that seat release that seat strengthen your body
Bring that baby back up here. Bring that baby back up here. How about your coat on Come on, touch my hand. So sorry, I'm over my time. Y'all forgive me. seemeth right unto man and then there is a way that God will take us that people will say it I wonder why she did it like that what, why did that but it's called straight to the best that's where God is taking you straight to the best I see you sitting at a boardroom table shuffling papers it's a closing table It's a closing tape. You are getting ready to be the embodiment of new, fresh wealth and prosperity. That's going to hit this house in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Everybody's standing. I'm over my time. Perhaps there's somebody here today that's not saved. Another 20. Thank you, Lord. Just keep covering her. Just keep, keep covering her. Hallelujah. Are these good people? These are good people. I felt like I was discerning these are good people, but it's all right to ask. These are good people. So if the Lord blessed them super abundantly, wouldn't nobody have to beg them. They would just write the check and keep walking around like they ain't wrote nothing. They be That's what's about to happen. Y'all got somebody who writes down or records prophecies? Write this one down. And God's going to do it for this couple. Y'all. And it's not it's going to be the church. You're going to do it for your leader. And you're going to just be a silent partner for many of the saints. People are already coming to y'all for advice. When it comes to certain matters. Uh huh. You'll be able to tell them, meet us at the bank next week. Sign the lease to your building. Somebody say, new favor. New favor. Have I touched glory? Have I touched and agree with everyone this song? God bless. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Woo. It's happening so fast that it's going to blow your mind. No more delay. There's a scripture that says that the vision he sees is for time off. And the response comes back and said, no, what he sees is for now. What I see for you is for now. Because you got now kind of faith. 
You ain't got no next month, six months from now. All your stuff is coming into the now. Everybody point at Elder JJ and say now. In the name of Jesus. If the word has blessed you today, I want you to stand. Who am I giving this to? A pastor is coming. Point at him and say, man of God, get ready to go up. Get ready for promotion. Get ready for increase. Yo, can y'all dance for pastor and first lady? So God can do it for them. <laughs> 